Hi, Susan Karcheski here from Perfectly Unique Design Studio and Boutique in Pearson, Indiana. And today I will be teaching you our fifth jewelry lesson in our series on hardware store jewelry. And you will be learning this unique statement necklace made from beads and wire using a common household drain cover. So let's get started. For this project, you will need nine eight millimeter beads in the color of your choice six six millimeter beads, 12 six millimeter beads, and 12 six millimeter beads in all of the colors of your choice. Four eight millimeter jump rings round, one toggle clasp set, two pieces of nine inch heavy chain, 26 gauge silver wire, 20 gauge silver wire, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of wire cutters, measuring tape, a drain protector, aluminum with clip. This is from the hardware store. And this is a drain strainer, snap-in, three-prong style. That is also from the hardware store. To begin, we're going to start with our drain strainer, snap-in, three-prong style. I'm going to take that out of the package. And it looks like this. It has prongs on the bottom, and we're not going to use those yet. We'll use those later. We're going to take our 26 gauge silver wire, and we're going to cut off 36 inches. Take our measuring tape. Okay, until we get approximately 36 inches of 26 gauge wire. Cut that off. Okay, we can take that aside. Now we're going to straighten our wire out and double it. So we're going to double the wire. This is kind of like sewing. We're going to take our first eight millimeter bead, and I used a fuchsia color. I'm going to put it onto the wire, find our hole, bring that to the middle here, and we're going to put the wire in through the center of the drain. Put our bead all the way through there. So we're going to take the other side of the wire and go completely through the center of the hole. So you have the bead like this. Then the tail should be no longer than two inches so you do not end up short. We're going to just basically work with the rest of the wire so we're going to take the rest of the wire up underneath the next hole. Decide which way you want to rotate. So we'll start with this hole. And we're going to put on one of our blue six millimeter beads. So we're going to put that on to the wire. Okay, so we have the blue bead, and again, we're going to take the other piece of the wire and go completely through the hole. So we'll find our end and go completely through the hole, kind of like sewing. Keep pulling the wire. And you're actually just putting the bead on top of the hole. And then we're going to take that same wire and go underneath the next hole. Pull it all the way through so we have our wire ready for the next bead. So we take our next blue six millimeter bead 
put it on the wire. And we line it up right next to the other one. And this time we have to take the wire We're going to go back through the last hole to anchor this. So we're going to go back through the last hole. And then we can bring this wire up through the next hole. You'll start getting used to this pattern as I go along might seem complicated right now, but you'll understand this as we go along. Bring the wire back through. If your wire kind of kinks up sometime, you just straighten it out and pull it through. That will happen with wire. Just straighten it out. So now we're ready for our third blue bead. And we're going to stick this third bead on again. So there's a little tiny kink there in the wire. You can take your pliers and just straighten that out if that happens. You don't want to break the wire, so you just gently want to straighten that out a little more. That will happen with wire when you're stringing like this. So now we have our third one on, and again, you're going to take this wire and go back to the previous hole and go through the previous hole to anchor it. So now we have our third bead on. Move the tail out of the way if it gets in your way. Then we're going to go back underneath to the fourth hole and bring the wire through. We're going to put now our fourth six millimeter bead on. Pull it all the way down. After you get the bead on, you go to the previous hole and put the wire through so you can anchor that one down. There we go. And then we go back up to the next hole. And this is the pattern we'll use throughout the whole entire piece. Now we have four beads on, and we're going to get our fifth blue bead. Put it on. Take our wire and go through the previous hole. And then back up through the center. Now we have our last blue bead. I'm going to put that on. Over the hole. We'll go down through the hole. Pull that tightly. Bring this back up through the previous hole, the same as we have done thus far. And then back through, and we'll be ready to start our next row here. Anchor that down. Looks like a little flower. 
So we'll be ready for the next step, which will be our next color. I will be using pink, same size bead, six millimeter. So we're going to start at the hole where you ended the wire. We're gonna go directly across to the next hole. So we're going to go over to the next hole here. Bring the wire up and we're ready to put a bead on. Same size bead, six millimeter. So we'll go with a pink bead. Okay, we have our first bead on. So then we go to the previous hole to anchor it like we always have done. We're gonna to go to the previous hole. Even though there's not a bead there, we gotta anchor this down. Okay, and then we go back up through the next hole, put our pink bead on. just as we had done in the first row of beads. So now we're going to go back through the previous bead hole. And up through the next one. Down through that one. And this will continue until you get all the way back to the beginning. I have just put the last pink pearl bead on of this row. That's the 11th bead and now I will be putting on the final 12th bead. So we take the wire again up under to the hole in the front of the previous hole. And we will go underneath there. Take our bead. Put it on and go back through the previous hole. That's how we always anchor the bead. And then we kind of straighten that out, pull it tightly, and get those all arranged in a nice circle. Move our tail out. And now we're going to start our final row of six millimeter beads. For this row, I have chosen a green color bead. Again, we go to the first hole in front of where your wire left off. We will go underneath the drain and go up through the hole. We're going to put on our bead. And then we go back through the previous hole as we have done before to anchor it. And then we're going to go again up to the next hole. Since we started in this hole, we're going to the next hole. Bring the wire through. Put on our second green bead. And then we go back through the previous hole here. Pull it tight. 
We went down through that hole, so we're going to go up under the next hole. Back through the previous hole. There we go. And these are the outside row. Up through the next hole. These are bigger holes, so it looks like your spacing is a little bit bigger, but it's the same exact step as you had done previously. So we'll continue with the green beads until we get all the way around. Now we're on our final row and our final bead. So we're going to go up through the bottom with this last little piece of wire here that we have left, just enough to get the bead on. We're going to put our last green six millimeter bead onto the wire. Bring the wire through. And here you might want to bring your needle nose pliers in just to pull it through. And this is why we have a tail, so we can turn it over. And you can either use your pliers or your fingers. I like to use my fingers. Twist the two pieces of wire together, and this will be how we finish off our wire work. We're going to take our wire cutters and cut off the end. And then we will take our needle nose pliers and we will tuck this wire in and down so it's not pokey and it's pushed under. You want to make sure you can't really see it on the front either. So we're just going to kind of make sure that you don't really see the wire, which I don't, and it's tucked down in the back. So now we're ready to go to the next step, which we will take our large drain protector, take it out of the package, and we're going to fold these tabs over because we really don't need those. Take your needle nose pliers and just gently bend those down. This is aluminum, so it's not really hard to push. It's not a heavy metal. So now we've pushed our three tabs down and we're going to put it in the center of the large drain strainer. And we're going to take some of our 26 gauge wire again and cut off a piece maybe six inches so we can go around and secure this. So we're going to do both sides. I'm going to line this up where I think it's in the center of the drain. These two holes line up nicely here, so I will use this area right here to put part of the wire through one side. And bring the other wire down through the other side and pull that through. And we're just going to bring the end back through the same hole. Pull it tight. And keep going through here three or four times. Through that same hole. Around the edge of the first drain. We're going around the edge to secure it to the larger drain strainer. So that's three times. Bring it back through. Now I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing we did before. 
take our two wires together and twist those. You can use your pliers if you want for this or you can use your hands. Cut this off and tuck that down into one of the holes that are close by. So there we go. Tucked it in the hole, press that down with the pliers, and now we'll turn this over. Cut off another piece of six inch wire. about six inches of wire. And we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on this side. Kind of go straight across the bead and find out where you're going to line up with the hole and it'll be right here. So I'm going to stick my wire down through over the rim of the first strainer into the hole here. Now I got it through both holes. I'm going to bring one of the wires back up through the next hole like we did at the beginning. Now we've got the wire through. You do this three times. Go back through. And so I have one more time to go. You can also turn it over if that helps you. And you can also use your pliers to pull the wire through if that helps. Okay, so we're going to bring this back through for the last time. Turn the piece over. And again, we're going to twist off the two wires. Take our wire cutters, cut it off about one quarter inch, okay, and we're going to tuck this into the nearby hole so that it will not poke anybody. You just press that wire down into the hole. Okay, so it's nice and smooth. And line all those beads up nicely. Now we're ready for our coils. We're going to make coils out of four pieces of 20 gauge wire that are 12 inches in length. So we're going to cut off 12 inches. Four pieces. Now I've cut off the four pieces of 12 inch 20 gauge wire. We're going to take the pendant and turn it over and we're going to take our first piece of wire and we're going to put it exactly where the little tab is in the back, horizontally. And you will put that wire through the last holes and pull it so you have the same amount, approximately the same amount of wire on each side. We'll take our next one we're going to split this vertically and we'll put the piece through that hole and go directly across to the following hole. And again, you're going to pull these so that you have the exact same amount or close to it on each side. These will be used to make our coils. So we take our next one and we're going to put it in between the first two wires and we're splitting these into quarters like a piece of pie. Okay. Then we take our last piece of wire and we'll split this big piece of pie into a smaller quarter here. And again, you want to make sure that you have the wires approximately the same length. 
So now to secure these, you can take these tabs from the back and you can use your fingers or pliers if you want for this, or you can use your hands. And we're going to fold that over there. And then we're going to take our pliers. And I'm actually going to bend that in half like this. Tuck that down like that so that I can take this other tab and put it over that one. Okay. There we go. And we just finished off our tabs and the wires are in between them. So that kind of secures the wires so they don't move in the back. Turn it over to the front. Now we're going to make coils. And if you haven't wire wrapped, I will show you how to make a nice coil. You can take the end of the wire and we're going to make one tiny loop. Just bending it forward. And then we're going to change the way we hold the pliers now and grab the loop between the pliers and we're going to roll up the wire with little half turns. Gradual turns with the pliers. This makes a nice coil. Just keep rolling up the wire. As you can see, the motion is just a little slight half turn. You don't want to rush it or you will have a coil that won't look very nice. So you're just going to keep making those half turns up the wire with your pliers. And then when you get to the end, you're just going to lay the coil down with your pliers and push it where you want onto the top of the drain. You can do the next one same way. Start at the end, make your half turn. Small loop. And we're going to continue same way as we did before and make our small movement with your pliers when you're rolling. Small movements, just follow it along the wire. You get to the end, and then we're going to set it down. Take the coil and actually place it where you would like. And then we're going to continue to make coils with all the wires until we have eight coils. Now I've just completed my eight coils, and I will be now going to the step where we put on the beads in between the coils. I will be cutting off 20 inches of our 26 gauge wire. So we're going to cut off 20 inches. Okay, now we're going to take the wire and one of our 8 millimeter beads, same bead that I used in the center, we're going to put it on the wire. We're going to find the two holes that are in the center of the coils. We're going to stick the end through so we have a tail again. And then we're going to bring the rest of the wire through the hole directly in front of the hole that we're stringing the bead on. We have that bead on. We're going to take the wire all the way across the bottom until we go to the next two coils. Find the two holes that are in the center.
bring the wire up through the first hole. Put our eight millimeter bead on. Okay, then we're going to take the wire back through the front hole that's just directly in front of the one that you just put the wire on before and pull it through. So we continue this, take this underneath to the next two coils, find our two center holes, go up through with the 26 gauge wire. Put the next bead on. Go to the next hole, bring the wire through, kind of like sewing. Go to the next two coils, find your center two holes, bring it through. And we continue this same pattern with the eight millimeter beads until we get to the end here. Now I've just strung on the last bead and I'm going to take the wire through and we're going to finish this piece off just like we did before, taking the two wires and twisting those. So you get about a quarter of an inch of twisted wire. Okay, take your wire cutters, cut that off, and take this little tail and tuck it in to a hole. Okay, there we go. You want to make sure you can't see that in the front, so we'll have to kind of tuck it in just along that edge. So there we go. Okay, now we're done with that step, and we're going to bring our two pieces of chain in that are nine inches in length, and our eight millimeter jump rings. We're going to find where we want the top, and since it's round and everything's round, it really doesn't matter. You can have your chain be just directly below the beads on the corner here of the top one, so it's kind of centered, and that's what I think I'm going to do here, is pick these two holes right here. So we'll open up the jump ring. And when you open a jump ring up, you go side to side put the chain on, go through the top hole, connect it here, take our next eight millimeter jump ring, put the chain on, go directly across to the hole directly in front of the bead just like you did on the other side. Close the jump ring so you have your chain. Now we're going to bring this in for our clasp. I'm using a toggle clasp here. So we'll go to the end of the chain, open up a jump ring. Close the jump ring so we have one side of the toggle done. Open up our last jump ring. Put it through the ends of the chain. And that's toggle bar. 
Then you have the bar and the ring goes through like this. And there you have your toggle clasp. And here's our beautiful finished product, the statement necklace made from a drain protector. Thank you for watching my jewelry video tutorial. If you would like to learn more about jewelry design, you can go to jewelrylessonvideos.com and you could also purchase my first DVD, Wire Wrapping Jewelry, a complete video guide and use the promo code on the screen to get a discounted rate and free shipping. Thank you again.